My name is Skylar Rogers, and I did Prisoner of Night in Ponca and Blinken. My book cover depicts Gretchen, the main character, and her relationship with a Jewish boy named Daniel. Gretchen was raised nationalist socialist, so this is a big part of her kind of breaking away from being a Nazi girl and becoming accepting of the Jews. The story focuses on the main character, Gretchen Mueller. She is a nationalist socialist girl, and her father died protecting Hitler at one of his rallies or marches. Um, everything changes when she meets Daniel, who is a Jew. Um, they become extremely close as they unravel truths about Hitler and her father's death and other family and friends. When um, help from Daniel comes, Gretchen finds out what really happened to cause her father to die and how Hitler was really involved. This book focuses on 1930s Munich, Germany, Hitler's rise to power, um, World War II, and some of Hitler's campaigns and rallies. The main good guys in this book are Gretchen Muller, Daniel Cohen, Eva, and Jelly. Um, bad guys are Hitler, Reinhard, um, Ernest, Nazis, and Kurt. The conflict is um, Gretchen's father was killed protecting Hitler, but it turns out that wasn't really the case. Um, Gretchen becomes friends with a Jew, um, and the truth about her father's death arises and how Hitler played a part in that. And um, Gretchen's brother, who is a Nazi official, um, finds out she's friends with a Jew and beats her and um, tries to kill her and lots of other stuff. One scene that stood out was the scene where Gretchen's brother, Reinhard, died and Gretchen and Daniel had to get away. So Reinhard was targeting Daniel, a Jew, and Gretchen had to warn him. She, when she finally found Daniel, Reinhard spotted them, and as Reinhard approached, he got shot by a bullet meant for Gretchen, shot by another Nazi official. And Gretchen didn't know how to feel because she hated and was terrified of her brother, but when he died, she was actually kind of upset. Um, but she didn't have time to feel very upset because she and Daniel had to escape. And this scene stood out for me because um, it was just interesting to see her feelings on that. And then another scene that stood out for me was the scene where Reinhardt and his friend Kurt had to complete kind of like an errand on the way to Hitler's house, but the errand was to kill someone, and Gretchen wasn't supposed to see, but she got curious and went to see what they were doing. When she got to the window, she saw Reinhard shoot the man. Later on, Gretchen went snooping in Reinhard's room and found a death list of all the people he had killed, and this scene stuck out because you could just see how bad Nazis could be. Um, the historical fiction part of the book was Gretchen's brother was a national socialist. Um, Gretchen's boyfriend, Daniel, was a Jew targeted by Nazis. Gretchen was Hitler's niece because her dad protected Hitler from being killed, and Hitler killed Gretchen's father. And then actual events that happened in World War II during this time period were Hitler deported Jews to ghettos and then sent them to concentration camps. Hitler invaded Poland on September 1st, 1939. Um, Hitler's National Socialist Party was slowly gaining popularity, and Jews were beaten streets even when World War II hadn't started yet in the Holocaust. And then um, what I took away about history and World War II from this book, it made me realize World War II goes a lot deeper than just the Holocaust and killing Jews because before I read this book and before um, this unit on World War II, I always just kind of thought of it as the Holocaust. But this book made that me realize that there's a lot more to history than what's shown in